A group of college students were asked about their TV watching habits. Of these surveyed, 39 watched The Walking Dead, 32 watched The Blacklist, and 29 watched Game of Thrones. Additionally, 8 watched The Walking Dead and The Blacklist, 12 watched The Walking Dead and Game of Thrones, and 11 watched The Blacklist and Game of Thrones. There are 8 students who watch all 3 shows. How many watch at least one of the shows? If we let set W contain the students that watch The Walking Dead, set B contain the students that watch The Blacklist, and set G contain the students that watch Game of Thrones, we can determine how many watch at least one of the shows by determining the cardinality of W union B union G. So we can answer this question using the formula shown below, or we can use the Venn diagram. In this lesson, we will cover both methods. Let's first write out all the given information in relation to sets W, B, and G. Because 39 watch The Walking Dead, the cardinality of W is equal to 39. Since 32 watch The Blacklist, the cardinality of B is equal to 32. And since 29 watch Game of Thrones, the cardinality of G is equal to 29. Next, 8 watch The Walking Dead and The Blacklist, which means the cardinality of W intersect B is equal to 8. And since 12 watch The Walking Dead and Game of Thrones, the cardinality of W intersect G is equal to 12. And since 11 watch The Blacklist and Game of Thrones, the cardinality of B intersect G is equal to 11. We also know 8 watch all 3, which indicates the cardinality of W intersect B intersect G is equal to 8. So again, because we're looking for how many watch at least one of the shows, meaning how many are in set W or set B or set G, we're trying to determine the cardinality of W union B union G, which we know from the formula below, which deals with the cardinality of the union of three sets. The cardinality of this union is equal to the cardinality of W plus the cardinality of B plus the cardinality of G minus the cardinality of W intersect B minus the cardinality of W intersect G minus the cardinality of B intersect G, and then finally plus the cardinality of W intersect B intersect G. And we have all these values above. The cardinality of W union B union G is equal to the cardinality of W, which is 39, plus the cardinality of B, which is 32, plus the cardinality of G, which is 29, and then minus the cardinality of W intersect B, which is eight, minus the cardinality of W intersect G, which is 12, minus the cardinality of B intersect G, which is 11, and finally plus the cardinality of W intersect B intersect G, which is eight. Simplifying, we get the cardinality of W union B union G is equal to 77. This indicates 77 students watch at least one of the shows. But now let's go ahead and verify this by completing the Venn diagram. To complete the Venn diagram, we'll actually work our way backwards, starting with we know that eight students watch all three shows, and therefore there's an eight in this region here, the intersection of W, B, and G. Next, we know 11 students watch the Blacklist and the Game of Thrones, and therefore there must be 11 students in the intersection of B and G, this region here, but these eight students are part of the 11, and therefore there's three students in this region here. Next, 12 students watch The Walking Dead and The Game of Thrones, which means there are 12 students in the intersection of W and G, this region here, but these eight students are part of the 12, and therefore there are four students here that only watch The Walking Dead and Game of Thrones. And we also know eight students watch The Walking Dead and The Blacklist, which means 
There are eight students in the intersection of W and B, this set here, but these eight students are the eight students given that watch The Walking Dead and The Blacklist, and therefore there are zero students that only watch The Walking Dead and The Blacklist. Continuing backwards, we now know 29 watch Game of Thrones. There must be 29 students in set G, but there's already 12 plus 3 or 15 students in set G. 29 minus 15 is 14. 14 students only watch Game of Thrones. 32 watch the blacklist, which indicates there must be 32 students in set B. There's already 11 students in set B. 32 minus 11 is 21. 21 students only watch the blacklist. And finally, 39 students watch The Walking Dead, but there's already 12 students in set W. 39 minus 12 is equal to 27. So let's verify we get the same result for the cardinality of W union B union G, which is equal to, again, the number of elements in the union of the three sets which is this set here. Let's be careful adding these up. We have 27 plus 21, plus four plus eight plus three, and then plus 14. And we also get 77. So again, this verifies 77 students watch at least one of the three shows. I hope you found this helpful.